Welcome back. This is our last lesson on the gear housing, and I hope you enjoyed building this model. In this lesson, we'll be splitting our solid body into front and back housings. Let's begin by going to Insert, Features, and scroll down to Split. For the Trim tool, I'm going to use the right plane. Let's click Cut Part, and let's check both bodies. We can auto-assign the body names by clicking here, Auto-Assign Names. Consume the two options, consume bodies, and copy custom properties to new parts, like color, texture, etc. I'm going to leave those unchecked. For now, let's click OK. And as you see in our solid bodies folder, we've got two bodies, split one and let's hide split one. And let's show split one and then hide split two. Let's show it again. From here we can create an assembly, or we can save these solid bodies as individual parts. To do so, go to Insert, Features, and scroll down to Save Bodies. Just double click on the flag in the graphic area to launch the Save As window. Let's cancel out of this dialog window. If you double click on the solid body, the name is assigned automatically. We can also create an assembly. Just browse here, cancel out for now, and let's cancel out of the Save Bodies Property Manager. And this concludes our section on developing a model of a gear housing.